A Georgetown University study says 8 million jobs will be open in the math, science, and technology fields by 2018. But the next generation of American workers will be unprepared, it says, especially girls. One move to level the playing field is found at a school in Oregon. A class once dominated by boys is now for girls only. Lee Cowan explains. This is the average high school woodshop, a landscape that is decidedly masculine. The ratio of boys to girls here is usually about 28 to 3. But a little later, the landscape shifts. In this class, you won't find a single boy in sight. Just because we're girls doesn't mean that we can't do the same thing, if not better, than they do it because we're perfectionists more than them. This is the NBA, or the No Boys Allowed class, at Sherwood High School near Portland, Oregon. It teaches computer design and woodshop to girls who often shy away from what are traditionally male-dominated courses. Guys are too intimidating, and they're kind of mean, so I just didn't want to get ragged on. When the No Boys Allowed shop class was first announced, the response was overwhelming. There's now a waiting list. If they've never been exposed to it, we're doing them a disservice. If we're only developing our boys, we're missing half the population. Nationwide, boys vastly outnumber girls in technology and engineering. And it takes a strong-willed girl to be willing to step into that world. Knowing that you're going to be the only girl in something, it's not something you want to do. You don't want to be the only girl. Already, the boys at Sherwood are noticing the girls have a different approach. They're some of the best welders in this class as the girls because they have the more patience, more attention to detail, where the guys in this class, they just kind of go for it. For girls, it also gives us something like, hey, my project's better than yours. How do you feel? Yeah, we can do anything. For some, the recognition is long overdue. Girls who might never have opened the door are finding a confidence they never knew. Lee Cowan, CBS News, Los Angeles.